In this video, we will discuss about IP source card and in this topology, DHCP snooping is pre-configured. Now when DHCP snooping is enabled, a switch maintains a database of DHCP messages assigned to the host connected to each access port. IP source guard refers this database when a packet is received on any of these interfaces as compared the source address to the assigned address listed in the database table of the switch. If the source address differs from the allowed address, the packet is assumed to be spoofed and is discarded. Now the first step is to enable IP source guard in every access interface of the switch. So moving to switch configuration mode. Now first interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1. This is the interface through which router 1 that is its host is connected and enter. Then for enabling IP source guard the command is IP verify source and enter. Now I, our IP source guard is enabled on its fast internet port 0 slash 1. Now for its next port so interface fast ethernet 0 slash 2 IP verify source and enter and exit. Now our IP source guard is enabled. Next we will define the static IP source binding under global configuration mode and there is also one important point that it also requires the source MAC address which can be obtained from the switch scam table. Now moving to switch. So the command for seeing the MAC table is show MAC address table for interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 and enter. So this is the MAC address for the R1. Now we will define static IP source address binding for the R1 that is our host one. So now moving to the configuration mode of the switch. So the command is IP source binding and we have to bind the MAC address of R1. So we will copy and paste it here. Then VLAN. So this is in particular VLAN 1. Then the IP address of the R1. So the IP address for R1 can be seen from here. So command is show IP interface brief through which we can verify the IP. So here is the IP address for router 1. So we will copy it and paste it over here. Then for the interface fast ethernet 0 slash 1 through which it is connected to R1 and enter. Similarly we will obtain MAC address for R2. So first we will put exit here to come to privilege mode. Then show MAC address table interface for fast ethernet 0 slash 2 and enter. So here is the MAC address table for the fast ethernet 0 slash 2 so this is the MAC address so we will use this MAC address for source binding so first we have to move to the configuration mode then IP source binding then the MAC address of R2 so we will copy and paste it over here then the particular VLAN so it is in VLAN 1 then the IP address of R2 so IP address of R2 can be obtained from here first we have to so the command is show IP interface brief so this is the IP address for R2 so we will copy it also and paste it over there then the interface so interface fast ethernet 0 slash 2 through which it is connected to R2.
and enter now ip source guard is enabled on switch and we can verify it by using show ip source binding command so moving to privilege mode then show ip source binding so here we can see let me make it a little bit larger here we can see that the mac address of the router one its ip address and its type is static because we have done static binding over there to the fast ethernet port 0 slash 1 and it is in vlan 1 similarly this is for router 2 the ip address the mac address then the type so type is static and it is in vlan 1 and the interface pass ethernet 0 slash 2 and we can also see that the total number of binding here is 2 so this is how we enable ip source guard in our topology thank you